uh, several EU countries accuse Belarus of uh, deliberately uh, sending migrants to the EU border uh, with Belarus. Uh, what is your comment on that? Everything what is going on at our western borders uh, is a consequence of the policies of the western countries. Numerous disastrous interventions in the Middle East and most recently um, West's debacle in Afghanistan. Those who clinged to the fuselages of military aircraft trying to desperately flee from Kabul will uh, hardly give up their aspiration to come to Europe by land. Belarus is uh, not helping them in any way other than providing humanitarian assistance or medical treatment to those migrants who were mistreated by Polish, Lithuanian or Latvian border guards. We have numerous well-documented reports of migrants being bitten, including pregnant women, being chased by police dogs, being forced into Belarus by Polish, Lithuanian and Latvian border guards. A number of human rights NGOs and UN agencies have criticized Warsaw, Vilnius and Riga for their migration policies. Even the European Court of Human Rights has called on Poland and Latvia to help migrants uh, at their respective borders with Belarus. You see, Belarus regards illegal migration as a threat and has been helping the EU to confront that threat over decades. Uh, for example, at the height of the pandemic, the flights of the Belarusian national carrier Belavia were the only way for the Swedish authorities to deport illegal migrants from Sweden. Between January and May 2021, before the airline uh, was arbitrarily barred from flying into the EU, Belavia transported 75 deported foreign nationals from Sweden to such destinations as Ukraine, Uzbekistan, Azerbaijan and even Lithuania. Uh, however, uh, it looks like our neighbors got accustomed uh, and started taking it for granted that Belarus is safeguarding their borders while the threat continued to grow. Only between uh, January and April 2021, the Belarusian border guards have stopped more illegal migrants from coming into the EU than in the entire year of 2020. However, in March 2021, the European Union has stopped um, um, respecting its obligations under the um, treaty on readmission with Belarus and uh, suspended uh, joint projects financing. Since then, Belarus has repeatedly proposed to the EU to conduct negotiations on migration issues to no avail. So the ball is in the European Union's court. So the response from the EU in this uh, perspective exactly. is... Yeah. They have ignored our proposals to conduct uh, consultations on migration issues. And last autumn, Lithuania and Latvia have uh, proudly announced that they are uh, suspending Belarus from t um, taking part in trilateral cooperation on border issues. That was last October. So now we face the consequences. I should say that Minsk is ready for a dialogue. We believe that the only way to find a solution to any kind of problem, including current border problems, is through a calm, professional and mutually respectful dialogue, refraining from false accusations, blackmailing and, uh, and threatening partners in Belarus. According to some uh, Western uh, media, there are, there are all photos and other journalistic material where, that support these claims. Uh, 
claimed about uh, Belarus transporting migrants to the border. Uh, are these falsifications or what, how do you describe these uh, pictures? I've told you, we have a number of well-documented cases of uh, uh, Polish, Lithuanian and Latvian border guards forcing migrants into Belarusian territory. They might, what they might have are uh, films of Belarusian medics helping migrants mistreated by Polish, Lithuanian and Latvian border guards by us delivering humanitarian aid to migrants stuck at the border. We are not transporting Afghan migrants from Kabul to the Belarusian Polish border. This also started uh, after uh, the Western uh, countries imposed the sanctions on Belarus. What can you say about this connection? It's hard to expect that a partner uh, you threaten and that you punish with uh, unprecedented sanctions will treat you as a good neighbor and will continue to perform functions it has been performing for decades, as we did when it comes uh, to cooperation with the European Union in the sphere of combating illegal migration. Thank okay. you.